Hello and welcome to Peggy's Tropical Garden. Coming to you from the Florida Keys. For a plant unboxing from Costa Farms through Amazon. I had never ordered a plant from Amazon before, but Costa Farms was having a sale on this little Swiss Monstera that I'd been eyeing. So I figured it was a good time to give it a try. The ad title reads, Costa Farms Little Swiss Monstera Trending Tropicals Collection, Live Indoor Plant, 12 inches tall, ships in white ceramic. So let's get into this box and see how the plant stacks up to the ad. So far, everything is looking good. Everything is nice and neat and in its place. It does seem to be a little smaller than I anticipated, and that may just be um, because of the box size. Okay, now let's see if I can get it out of the box without tearing it up at all. It's, um, like I said, it's a deep box and the pot's way down in there. Okay, here we go. That's supposed to come in a white ceramic pot, so I don't want to just hold on to it by this paper and have it fall in there and break the pot, but I'm, I'm doing my best to get it out of here with no damage. My first impression is it seems kind of small to me. I just really expected something larger. However, I will say it's definitely well packaged. It doesn't seem like uh, anything is broken in terms of the ceramic pot. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's what. Okay, while I continue to unbox this plant, I'm just going to go over some things with you that I observed on the Amazon website when I was purchasing this plant. Um, I like to do my research. I had never ordered a plant from Amazon at that time, and I had never ordered a Costa Farm um, plant at that time. So I wanted to do my research. So the first thing I did is what people normally do. I started reading the reviews. And one thing I noticed by looking at the pictures, um, the reviews posted with this ad were not all necessarily about this plant. They were about all Costa Farms plants that are on the Amazon platform. So although there were a lot of positive reviews, there, not many of them were about this plant. And same with the pictures. And I was trying to find out, you know, what size plant I was going to get. I know it said that it would be 12 inches tall, but does that mean at least 12 inches and you're getting more or what? So, and then other people were complaining about the pot, so I wasn't sure whether or not it was really coming in a ceramic pot or not. Now, one thing of importance that I did learn from reading the reviews is Amazon's policy on plants. Amazon's policy is that any plant purchases are non-refundable and non-returnable. So if you do have an issue with the plant that you purchase and that seller is not willing to work with you on it, you have absolutely no recourse through Amazon. If you go to the Amazon website and look in the returns policy about plants, it does say that. Clearly, that didn't dissuade me from ordering this plant, and I'm not trying to dissuade you. I just like to be able to make an informed decision, and I pass that information along so that you can too. All right, we're about in. Now, do I need to tell you this plant is well packaged? This thing is definitely well packaged. Okay, here we go. All right, the plant came in a white ceramic pot, as stated in the ad. And I've come too far to rip off all the leaves now, so I'm trying to be delicate here. And finally, here she is, my Costa Farms Little Swiss Monstera. Well, she looks pretty good. I don't see any broken leaves or anything like that. Um, well, there's some with some of the, I guess for no better word, the cutouts. Um, there's some little breakage there, but these leaves are beautiful. I'm, I'm in love with this little plant. Uh, my first impression is that she's a little small, but there are a lot of leaves on it. None of the stems are broken and she's healthy, so she'll grow. 
And yes, I'm going to go ahead and get a ruler and we're going to measure her since she since it did say in the ad that she's going to be 12 inches tall. So I just want to see how accurate that is. I just found out that the ad actually says that they measure the plant height from the bottom of the pot to the top of the plant. So by that standard, I'm sure this plant is 12 inches, but we're still going to measure to actually see how tall the plant is. Okay, so I'm going to take this measuring tape and I'm just going to kind of push it down in the soil a little bit and measure from there. And as you can see, there is one leaf that is just a little shy of 12 inches and the rest are not 12 inches. For $30.34, I still feel like I got a good deal with the ceramic pot included. Here she is. The leaves are starting to fall and relax, and it's it's a pretty good looking plant. It's uh, it looks pretty full to me. Now, because Costa Farms is local, it's located in Miami. I could probably get this plant for less, and you know, and buy my own pot or use one that I have. But if I was ordering this for someone out of town or whatever, would I do it again? Absolutely. For the thirty dollars and thirty four cent, I feel like it was a it was a decent deal. Now this is my first monstera, so in case I don't, in case I do something wrong, I want to make sure that I some part of the plant survives. So I decided to divide it up, and this part is in my plant nook under a grow light, and it is doing well. It was struggling; it had a yellow leaf on it when I got it. Well, like the next day it went yellow and it looked like the plant might start having some problems. So that's another reason why I decided to um, divide it up and I did treat it just to make sure everything was okay. And now it's doing quite well. And this is the second piece. And as you can see, she is definitely doing quite well. She's over by the nook, but she's not under the grow light. She's in front of a, a door with a big window. And she has a little leaf down there that is new, and she has another one that's unfurling. So she is doing quite well. And believe it or not, there is a third division to this plant, and it is living outside on my patio on a side table with all the warmth and humidity it seems to need. It is doing great. It's getting new leaves. It's had several new leaves. As you can see, it's quite full. I know it's the latter part of December, but our temperatures are still in the 70s and 80s, so she's fine. And another thing I just want to point out really quick is they do give you some information on the box about how to care for the plant, as well as a number in case what to do if you have any issues with the plants. So there you go. My Costa Farms Little Swiss Monstera purchase from Amazon. I am quite pleased with my first plant purchase from Amazon and with Costa Farms. I think she's saying she's quite pleased too. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found the information helpful and your support is greatly appreciated. If you haven't done so yet and you like these videos, you've been liking what you see, make sure you subscribe and click that bell so that you'll be notified of all of my new videos. Thanks again. Bye-bye. And this was Monster. And this division of the Swiss Little Monster lives... Oh, I said it again. And over here also in my breakfast nook is... Oh, not breakfast. And over here and also in the plant nook is this little Swiss Mon... This plant that is driving me absolutely insane and for some reason I can't say the name.